setting system structure. Okay. What we have here. Eh, kenapa ya you all punya kawan ni, tiga orang ni, dia tak ada apa-apa respon, dia tak ada pun whatsapp kan? <laughs> dia suka duduk kat lobby eh. Aduh. <laughs> so, over here, what content that available in our module 2, uh, it will be operating system service. Uh, here is the three things that I show you just now, your uh, graphic user interface, your patch interface your command line interface so we will learn it uh, today on this about system call what is system call type of system call there is several types similar also to yeah uh, just now your uh, what that log process there is also several type okay system program operating system structure you need to know uh, there is several structure later on application where is it uh, where is your program uh, so in terms of the structure of your operating system and lastly your system boots so the objective you can read uh, what you need to achieve at the end of this module 02 so what is operating system again so operating system provide you with the environment environment what for you to play your application, your games. Before you can have and run your game, of course, you need to have your OS. Similar also your, your, your PS, PS4, PS5. They have their own operating system before you can install uh, any new game. So it is providing you with the environment before you can have a program or application. Operating system uh, provide certain services, uh, including this is the main one, which is program itself, program application, and also user for those program, which is if you are a programmer, you want to do some things that you need a operating system. So this is uh, two services that available or uh, provided by uh, the operating system. Okay, let me see here. OS or operating service that helpful you as a user. Normally, in your daily life, I think you are referring to this one. Okay, where is it? Okay, this is our graphic user interface. When you want to buy your uh, laptop or computer, I do believe uh, you will refer to what type of uh, graphic card that you have, isn't it? Okay, for gamer. For gamer, what do you think that you need to have uh, for the graphic card? Uh, Siraj. Siraj Jum Munir. Is it I pronounce your names correctly? If you are a gamer, what type of yes. graphic card that you needed? Normally, um, I use uh, GTX uh, 16, uh, 1650 Ti. Wow. So you are uh, doing a very, very like... Uh, a process that needed a quite a high in the RAM. Uh, actually, not this like Valorant or uh, FIFA. This is out. It actually runs smoothly in my computer. Okay. Uh, next might be can I ask? Siapa yang muka muka gamer kat sini? Muhammad Allah. Muhammad Allah. What yes, doctor. What type of your graphic card currently that you are using? AMD or might be a Yes, AMD because I play on PlayStation. Oh. So PlayStation uses AMD graphic cards. Okay, see I can pick someone 
who is the gamer here? Tak ada siapa kat sini gamer. Okay, so you can see that mostly when you are trying to buy computer or laptop, first thing you're going to look into a graphic card, isn't it? Similar also in our uh, operating system, you have three types, but going to prefer on the graphic, which is user interface. Where else uh, your user interface? Uh, kejap, I share again my screen. Okay, this one over here. Uh, this is my user interface. You can see here, my B quite small. Uh, there is all my user interface. Similar also at here, uh, which is I can see it. Uh, virtual, uh, virtually I can see it. I can click, 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 and I can play around with it. Uh, without needed, uh, like a common line. I just uh. Uh, try to open something by using a uh, visual. Uh, here is a graphic looks of my user uh, graphic user interface. Compare to your command line, your CLI command line, which is in term of your terminal here. You can see here. So this is your terminal. Uh, you still can open whatever uh program might be here you want to see inside your where unity here might be uh after, this one is user interface uh graphic user interface isn't it you just click at this folder you can see what is inside but using your uh terminal you can see also it might be here uh Alice, where is where am I now? Oh, cannot show this CD. Okay, now you can see here. This is user user desktop. Where is desktop? Desktop is here currently, which is you look uh, on the graphic user interface. But here at the common prompt, we call as a common uh, line user interface. Uh, we see it's on the desktop. You can see, you can go also CD what we have Unity here. You can see CD Unity. So I already point out here in the Unity line. I don't know whether this one is, it cannot because uh, this one normally ls for your linux but here you already go for unity for terminal under window i forgot how to show the file instead uh, but i want to show you the difference uh, between common your common line cli and also your graphic user interface here your GL a uh, GUI okay so this is your GUI this is your common line when you are doing uh, uh FYP later on for your FYP if you are playing around with application to develop uh, application uh using a web base you're going to play around like graphic user interface UI UI you need to create UI but uh, mostly if you are playing around with uh, application also, you're going to see, oh, you need to create user interface, user interface, which is related to graphic also. Okay. Eh, you don't want to be so airline. Nanti, I check lagi. Okay, let we go through here. Okay, another one. We have a bash interface. Bash interface is quite similar to your command line, but command line is more into like a current. Whatever you want to do it currently, but for bash interface, it is something that you have a command uh, still under directive, but you're going to execute it uh, automatically. 
compared to the command line. So whatever you execute this one, you already learn in your module one, right? So it's automatically we run, uh, let's say you want to open any application at the background, it's going to do it, uh, process it, and suddenly you get going to see the output. Okay, let's see the definition. You can see here, there is three things. Command line CLI, which is use stack commands. If you want to open something, you need to type because it is related to text. And method entering them, saying a keyboard for typing into a common line in a specific format. Because it's like similar to what I did, uh, did, uh, did just now, which is when I have something which is window uh, not recognized so it is also needed in terms of the format while for your graphic is the interface your gui which is your interface in the window system with a pointing device to direct your input output input output related to your mouse uh, the output display will be your currently display for your computer or laptop. And uh, make selection and a keyboard to enter text. Okay, so this is about GUI. I just now we already showed you similar also your command line. And batch interface, it's quite similar to your CLI, which is related to the command. And directly to control those command are entered into your file and also application and it execute normally it's going to be automatically you run it uh, let's say you say okay uh, open the Microsoft window and then you play around with your game and etc it's uh, doing it in background you cannot see it and suddenly you already have the output Okay, here is the view in terms of graphics when you have uh, your GUI, you're going to have a command line, you also have the page. These things will be connected, you need to have your user interface uh, to connect to your system, which is like input output operation, even your file system. Uh, resource allocation which is related to your uh, storage program education so all of these are connected to each other and now this is the you yourself you which is user so you're going to see only your prefer maybe you're going to prefer GUI because normally we are referring to our GUI might be you are a good programmer you always uh, do any application any program using your command line maybe you're going to use also bash and after you just like click 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 at your gui it's basically connected to your user interface and then there is a system call system call will recognize what is basically you ask uh, the computer or the system to do so might be you're going to ask your computer to execute a certain file. So it's going to call this program application. The rest is not going to be touched. It's depend on the system call. It's going to call which one. And then after you call the program execution, there is also several other services. Uh, and then it's going to go to the your hardware system which is your ios uh, which is your window as leader hardware which is you going to display okay now uh let's we go on the cli cli is uh not uh, i think still you have a plenty time i think playing around with, with, with your cli which is your terminal uh, CMD, we call it in your window. Some operating system, which is OS, include the common interpreter in the kernel. So, uh, you need to have the OS, which is window or Unix, treat the 
common interpreters that you are fitted in as a special program that run when a job uh, initiate or when a user first log on into the system, devices, uh, gadget, and etc. It is not only depending on your laptop, but of course, when you are talk about OS, you will think, okay, it is like computer, it is like a uh, laptop, but it is also including several other gadgets like your iPad, your smartphone. They are also having the similar OS. Uh, the rest is not, uh, I think you can read it. Okay, this is the one that I show you just now. What I think this is in terms of, uh, okay, iMacBook Pro, you can see here. This is on the MacBook, uh, how the user interface uh, look like uh, for window. This is the one that I showed you just now. Okay, it will be look like this. You're going to also, uh, you can see also how uh, you play around with this uh, C common prompt and then you try to look into what is the system that you are using now. Okay, now we have our GUI. For our GUI, uh, user-friendly desktop because we can see the picture, we can see it's in visual looks and usually it's playing around, you can see here, you have a mouse, the things that, eh? the things that you click, click around and then the keyboard itself, sometimes you can just using the keyboard, uh, arrow up, down, left, right and the rest another one is monitor monitor also having just uh currently we can also have the touch screen so it's also can be like a mouse but it can be also the output device for your uh, computer system which is to point it out and visualize whatever output that you needed Icon represent file, program, and action, which is familiar with the icon. You can always play around with your icon here. You can also uh, change your icon. Last time you can see here, this is my did simulator program, but I play around and change the icon uh, following whatever uh, preferred by me. Similar to my printer, um, what else? Might be you can see it's quite, but it quite small, isn't it? Okay, and then you have a various mouse button. Object interface, uh, which is a uh, cost and action for you to provide information, option for you to execute function, execute application, or even uh, for you to open directly, open file, open folder, which is known as folder. You uh, normally uh, familiar with the folder name. Maybe you can see uh, one of your friends uh, asked, uh, I want to uh, copy your report, maybe. So you say, okay, uh, the report is on my desktop here under unity folder so you are pointing as folder uh, folder isn't it you're not saying that okay it is inside uh, uh it is at my desktop directory uh, under the desktop directory you can go to the directory called as unity Oh, I can see. Okay, you can see here. Macam mana I nak besarkan? Wait, ah. Uh. 
Okay, you can see here. Uh, here you have location. Where is your locations that you put your folder? So might be you can say to uh, your friend uh, instead of Unity, might be you can go here. You have the locations uh, of the directory, program file, Unity Hub maybe. So you can say, okay, my file for my final report is at program file unity hub uh, then your friend will be huh what's again instead of just saying like uh, okay it is inside the folder of unity so it's easier for us to point and set a folder because we are familiar with this kind of name uh, many system now include both. You can have CLI, you can also have your GUI, which is similar to our uh, Windows currently. All our devices are having both, I think. Uh, I don't know whether uh, our smartphone having two, but normally our smartphone, uh, we are only have the GUI. Microsoft Windows is GUI with also CLI, which is under your common cell. While for the Mac uh, OS also, uh, you are referring to as a core, which is uh, the GUI interface with the unique uh, kernel underneath of the cell that available. Uh, I think some of you might be using the Mac OS. Unique Linux uh, have CLI, so you can see here Linux and also Unix. Normally, we are using the CLI, but uh, it can be also as an optional GUI interface. But you can see here, while we are using our Windows, this is our main reference. We are going to use GUI. But for Linux later on, which is you are do, dealing with your Linux, Fedora, and etc. CLI will be the main, but the GUI will be the optional. For Windows, GUI will be the main. Uh, CLI will be optional for you. Okay, here, touch screen interface. It is look like your smartphone, but... You can also have uh, quite similar things into your laptop if you having the touchscreen laptop. Uh, this is touchscreen interface, uh, which is require a new interface when you have you didn't have mouse or you did not desire any mouse to move around to point to something. Instead, you are using your finger as a mouse to uh, move around uh, and to swipe, to open your application, isn't it? So, action and selection based on the gesture. Sometimes, you just uh, rotate. You're going to rotate your smartphone, smart mobile, similar also to your iPad, similar to... Uh, your laptop if you are having a kind of laptop that you can rotate which is you going to refer to your gesture virtual keyboard is also available if you are having the touch screen interface You're going to have uh i'm not saying only on your mobile phone okay this one is more on the example of your smartphone but if you have the laptop also, you're going to find that you have a virtual keyboard. You're going to also have the optional if you want to have uh, several other type of virtual keyboard, not only uh, the current keyboard that we are using. And not only that, we also have in terms of GUI, this is all under GUI, you can also have the voice command. although. This one, you cannot see in terms of visual or graphic, isn't it? But this, there is available uh, application for you to use the GUI. Okay, that is under GUI uh, and then your CLI. 
but here it's not giving you the batch best let we see what is the example might be i can show you itulah besar-besar ni sebenarnya uh, you can see here batch interface which is quite similar which is i show you quite similar to your command line but it is going to play around in your background uh, it's going to execute your output and then you suddenly sure, uh, see it oh, mana ya? because normally as our normal user we're not going to see that uh, let me you can try to see also, uh, see also and try to google wait uh. Okay, this is an example of bench. You can see here uh, how you're going to uh, call out. Still, you are using your common prompt. You can see here. and But it's going to execute uh, automatically and then you just left it. At background, it is already there. Like uh, when you are going to uh, set up here your ASD, your ID, your username, password, even the date. Uh, this is example of what. So normally you're not going to see it uh, to instruct something currently happened. Okay. Go back to your slide here. Okay, next we have our system call. System call is programming interface. Oh, before that, uh, last time I think uh, Kyrene are happily to, to be a programmer, I think, uh, for front-end developer. You have a bad, many type of developer. You can have the back-end. Uh, you can have the front end when you are playing with a back end this is the things that you are normally see you are playing around a lot of something with all uh, the text but when you are playing around as a developer at the front end you're going to see it in visual uh, visual uh, or graphic things so it's much more interactive I think but both is important you cannot be uh i think you can be a boss but normally in a company they're going to have a some separate entities for back-end developer for a front-end developer because both of their tasks is totally different so here you can see when you have a system call the architecture here here you are playing around with your uh, front end, especially when you are using the GUI. When you having a system call, you want to call something inside in your database and etc. You're going to play around with your back end. So that's why we are having our system call here. Can I put it Okay. So, programming interface to service provided by your OS, typically written in the high-level language C or C++, but uh, it is even more currently, we have a lot of other high-level uh, language. It's not only C and C++. Mostly, uh, the program uh, called as, you can see here, application programming interface api okay uh, i uh, i have a project with industry and i try to find a developer for back end and also front end if you are mastering if you already master and be a developer like one year two years you can do a part-time part -time job or freelance instead of like uh, just work at your company because when you have the knowledge to develop API, 
it's quite easy for you to develop any kind of API. So you can just take uh, about like 24 hours, but you're going to pay uh, more than 1000. This is what freelance do. So I also uh, have uh, experience uh, searching for developer for API and I need to pay more than 1000 only for 24 hours, but it's already finished. So maybe if you are uh, still searching what kind of job I'm going to go uh, after I graduate and etc. So developer for back end is also having a quite an expensive salary. Next API specifically, uh, okay. So under developer also or API, it is not only C or C++. You can have a lot of type of programming under API, but normally, uh, I can see that developer in Malaysia, uh, especially for back end, if you are focusing only like C++, you focus only this. When I ask like maybe can you do in terms of Java or maybe Python, then they said, oh, I'm not familiar. I just prefer this. I think maybe you can like uh, later on increase it uh, your self capability, not only focus in one language. Uh, what else? Okay, there are three most common uh, API, which is Win32 API for Windows. You're going to have also POSIX API, uh, which is normally related to Unix, Linux, Mac OS. And lastly, for Java API, which is for your virtual machine. So not that your system call name used throughout the stack and generic uh, any kind of call throughout your API application programming interface. Example of system call. System call sequence to copy the content of one file to another. So this is example system call for you if you want to copy the content of one file and then you uh, to another file. This is the existing source file. Just now, like might be I open my folder for Unity as a source file. I want to copy the content inside. And then what needed for me to do so? So acquire input file name. So write a prompt to screen. Uh, accept input. So this is the input, right? And then you're going to have the output file name, which is your destination. So under your COA subject, you need to know your destination and your source. So both is import important. Input and output file. And then this is the things that you need to, uh, basically what happened in your system. And then it's going to write a prompt to screen, accept the input. So you're going to accept the input. Open the input file. If the file not exit, you're going to abroad. If the, there are exits, you're going to copy and then you're going to uh, create the output file. If the file exit. And when it's already there, you can also abroad. Uh, so you can see you're going to also having a looping and etc. So this example for you when you want to copy under your system call. Another example, another example of standard API. If let's say for example, uh, you're going to uh, consider a read function that is available in your Linux system. The API for function is obtained from the main page by invokes the command uh, main read. Uh, maybe you can try uh, to open in your Linux and you type this main read. Maybe I can try to install. But this one, okay. Okay, while waiting is to open, you can see here also. I small. 
you can see also what is happening when you type man read it's going to show you the uh, size read function name and parameter Describe on the API and the programs that read uh, functions that you have the size t here okay it's already open uh, which one are you going to show okay open size first Alamak, I lupa lah. Okay, while it try to open. Okay, this is uh, in term of the view. When you have your user mode is the one that you see. But in term of the kernel mode, this is something that you cannot see after your system called interface. What is happening? open implement the open which is similar all the listed at these parts it's already open or not i need to put it on the desktop honestly i'm not uh what uh, familiar with this fedora okay how to make it here if under you uh, ubuntu i can make it a uh, and put it on the desktop. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Using Fedora. Okay, when I uh, copy the can see here when I uh, using the main read so there is several things that uh, appear here so this is example what we can have I think so let's see ah, I don't like Fedora but <laughs> it's too maybe I can try to do it in Ubuntu. Okay, you can see here you have uh, several things that available uh, after you try to invoke the main read so it's going to give you whatever things that you can use later on this is the things that shows you can see synopsis or the include uh, whatever here size and this is try that similar uh, in your example here the descriptions of the api back to my you can see uh, you have a lot of other uh, details uh, that's showing here. What else here? Okay, this is the forward line. when you are playing around with ubuntu and also your fedora uh, 
you have the functions of memory. Okay. You have the function of memory. Whatever you have written before this, you can play around with your error like this. Just pointing it up so all of the memory are available. So this is what happened because last time I have several uh, memory inside my Ubuntu. You can go until finish. You can maximum it how many memories that you can uh, have for the terminals uh, depending on your storage also. But for the right, you can see, okay, this is the only things <laughs> that I have because just last time I never uh, used any things under Fedora. So this is my first time in my Fedora. So this sound is quite interesting, I think. Okay, you can explore more. Uh, maybe you can also explore Ubuntu. Maybe you can uh, try to compare it, uh, how it's look compared to the Fedora. Okay, type of system call. You have several type of system call. First is the process control. What is related to your process control? You're going to have uh, things that you call as and or abroad is uh, whatever program that you are trying to open or existing one. And then you can also have the lot to execute uh your program you can have the create a process terminate which is also similar all of this so you need to remember process control and then you have the device management file management what are uh, having inside the file management information management communication and lastly protection protection is very important in terms of your system call or whatever system that available, we need to have a protection. To control existing, uh, to control access to your resources. Similar also at the beginning, sometimes you can have a group of user. If user A uh, might be, it can... Uh, open the certain source or file or resources in your computer but sometimes for group B cannot so this is in term of protection so uh, most of it this is the very important for your system that's why sometimes when you are playing around uh, Ubuntu or Fedora if, if it's related to Linux uh, of course, I'm not familiar with this uh, Fedora. I don't know what is the commands that are using here. But for Ubuntu, it also similar to your window. Okay, when you are having your window here, sometimes you have an option. Right click. Uh, I, okay, right click and then run as administrator you can see here this is the option for you uh, run as administrator because if you are under like group b you cannot open this application so you need to be at as a s a c t at as a administrator similar also in your linux if you want to open certain file or certain application that you already said okay only administrator or uh, the group of uh, user a can open the application so you need to be as a root so if you are under uh, you are a user of your root then uh, you can open it eh what are Okay, now we have here, this is example under window related to your sixth thing here in terms of visual, uh, what is uh, available that listed all uh, type and necessary needed for your pro 
process control, file manipulation, device uh, manipulation, information management, communication, and lastly, your protections. Over here, we have a system program. So system program provide a convenient environment for a program development and also your education. Some of them are simple user interface to call a system. So what is example for your system program? It can be categorized following the file, status information, file modification, program language, a program that you're going to load and execute, communication, background service, and application. Mostly, if you look, there are so many like this. As a lecturer, also, it's going to hard for us to appoint you with a, a question. Uh, similar also, this one. If you, there are too many, but this like six, we still can uh, ask you to pick which one is the very important or maybe i can say okay uh, under the example of set console mode read console mode write console mode what is the call of the system uh, call for the functions so you need to know okay this is under device manipulations okay next we have the display which is in term of the diagram view uh, I think you already look into in your module one this is similar things you have a user which is it going to connect it to your like compiler or maybe assembler it's depend on what is happening here and you're going to connect to which data system in term of the application program and you have the operating system and your computer hardware which is your display Kenapa dia tak nak naik ni? How to hide? Okay. Uh, just now dia naik sendiri. Maybe I try again. Dia tak nak naik. But it's okay. Uh, here we have... Huh. Monolithic structure, which is a normal and the short form as a MS DOS. So, if you are being as a, I think a programmer, network programmer, you always uh, heard about DOS, DOS, DOS. This is on your uh, system, your system call, still under your system call, and it is in term of it. Eh, I dah jump directly. But it is your operating structure. Several type. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, layer is the second. Micro kernel is the third. Mo module is the fourth. And lastly, hybrid. Okay, under DOSH, MS DOSH here. Uh, the function is to return to provide the most functionalities in the list of amount space. So if you try to like save your storage, then you can write in your MS Dosh, which is, is limited by hardware functionality. Example is not divide into module and it have a structure and interface level. So all this level, when you have a hierarchy like this, it's very important for you to know. First is application program. Uh, resident system program is a collaboration after the application program. And here is the MS DOS driver. And it will be directly to your ROM. So remember about your ROM on your memory so there are several uh, under monolithic structure you have the unique structure here and unique of course it is related to your linux system structure 
and the layer approach you're going to have several other layers which is anti layers and which your user interface so you can go through it uh, what is happening inside in your Linux and in terms of the most important is your micro kernel you can see here the next one is your micro kernel where is it okay micro kernel is also important especially when you are playing around with your linux later on here is the second one after your monolithic structure which is your layer approach so uh, one of the method is the layer approach for you in terms of the system to be made a uh, modular in many way in which the operating system is broken into numbers of layers so you're going to broke it divide it into several layers the bottom layer we call as layer zero and normally it is our own hardware and the highest is your end which is user interface this is quite similar to all the system you can see back through here this is your layer zero this is your end layer which is your user interface uh, in terms of your modular many mod modern operating system implement currently your loadable kernel module although you are not playing around with it in your windows normally it is under linux later on you will play around with your kernels and lastly your hybrid when we we I remember about hybrid similar in the things that in your module one you're going to have at least two complete combination it is not related to similar things only but when you are merging uh, uh, integrate two things in one system it called hybrid so uh, they are combining different structure which is uh, result in hybrid system that address the performance security and usability issues example is linux is monolithic uh, because having an operating system in single address space providing very high uh, in performance although it's quite efficient in performance but Linux also modular it is also a modular you can see it can be monolithic it can be also modular which is a combination of modular and the first one on your monolithics so when you have two linux can be two things it also can be a functions as a hybrid example of hybrid system is your apple mac operating system your ios also and also your android mobile operating system it is this is the hybrid system that available and you can see this is the example of Mac OS, how it look like. Instead, uh, if you are not referring to your Mac OS or your I, uh, Mac OS or iOS, you can have also the app uh, Android, which is uh, normally we have a Samsung uh, brand. But Samsung is not Android. Android is not Samsung. Android is the operating system that uh, usually refer to several other brand uh, especially for your smartphone and you can see here it's quite different with the uh, ios versions of structure but you can see you have several things and the on top of the layer normally it's going to be the application so what is application application is uh, uh, things that you can see which is your user interface or in our computer is our graphic user interface so that is the things that is uh, very important and lastly normally it's going to be on a kernel that will be the last layer if you compare to 
your OS and Android versions of structure. Next, uh, we have the system boot. Uh, boots. You can see here, uh, last time we are uh, discussing in terms of the bootstrap loader. When you first try to open your computer, uh, it is example of your system boots. I don't know why it's quite similar uh, to your module 1, but you can try to play around with your system boots later on. Okay, any question? When you try to play uh, to your Ubuntu, I think you're going to, if you are a programmer type of person, maybe later on you're not going to use your window anymore. Instead, I think you're going to play around everything in your Ubuntu. Because in your Ubuntu, Because in your Ubuntu, you can also having everything similar. You can store your movie here. Uh, you can play a game here. But of course, uh, not all games that uh, can available. So you can also have the internet uh, services uh, explorer here. We are using uh, Firefox. You can also install your... Uh, Google Chrome so everything in one application for Ubuntu so maybe later on you can try to explore more okay luckily when I open my virtual box in my laptop it's going to be quite slow but in my computer for now it's okay for me to have ubuntu and fedora in one v, uh, v box i don't know whether if you having a quite slow in laptop maybe it's going to be like headed for you to run everything in one single virtual box because i think personally uh, vm require you quite uh, high in uh, RAM and also storage. Any question? Uh, I need to go back to my. Where is it? Just now or display? Ah, uh, okay. So we have uh, finished our module 2. Uh, I want to speed up because everything is more on theory. You can read uh, the notes by yourself. You can even Google, find uh, other resources, especially YouTube, explanation and etc. If in class, I think it just wasted of your time like uh, hearing what explanation in theory uh so i need to speed up because i want us to focus more in terms of the technical thing on your uh ubuntu your programming after this okay so i hope you can try first using your fedora play around with later on i'm going to share you also with the uh basic things that you can use in linux especially in terms of the comments, uh, what you can do, uh, what you can use for the command for the Linux passes. Okay, any question? Chapter 3 will be under your uh, Unix, which is your Linux passes. My internet is loading. Uh, doctor, maybe this is kind of this question might be too early, but right now, do we have any info on our uh, exam mode? Wait again, system? right now, do we have any info for our exam, exam mode? Uh, for this course, exam date or a module? 
the exam mode? Like, are we going to have an online exam or a physical exam? Okay, we're going to have all online exam until uh, final exam. Although later on, you uh, needed to come back to UTM if they call you back. But still, our exam, uh, for now, okay, for now, uh, we agreed to do all online. Okay, got it. Thanks, doctor. Uh, there is also some of your friend asking me, uh, am I going to come back to UTM or if there, uh, there are possibility for them to just take this class online. Yes, although you need to come back to UTM, our class will be fully online unless for the lab. I don't know about the lab later on, but, uh, you're not going to be called to come back for the face-to-face -face class. But it is necessary for you to come back for other things. I don't know uh, why, but all university will call you back. Uh, I think uh, the earliest will be after a year. I think maybe next semester, it will be fully face-to-face. -face. For this semester, not yet. Okay, uh, might be you can try uh, to play around with your Linux in uh, how you can like might be copy the file, how to point the directory of your Linux, um, how you can delete without do using your GUI uh, and then later on you can play around with your Linux uh, programming language. Uh, interpreted uh, programming language which is uh, what else uh? not not in your module 3 module 3 is more on uh, Unix for your Linux use okay, as you can uh, system call okay how it's going to be used as this I think it is not too many, but in terms of the use case of technical, uh, I think it will be many also. 2.5 edited concept. Okay, if there is no more question, uh, please make sure you scan your QR code for those who already uh, scan is okay for you, but please make sure that is already a successful scan because last time there is also problem your friend asked me related to the attendant uh, some of you still cannot scan although most of you already can available scan right so you need to ask the school uh, academic office why your name still not yet in because sometimes you are doing the amendment and etc. That's why maybe you are not in the section. You cannot scan the QR code. Okay. So thank you. Uh, meet you again. Uh, next class on Wednesday. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor.